NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Matt, it was so nice to be outside in a t-shirt this afternoon. I know, I put on my shorts. Oh my gosh, yes. yeah, shorts and t-shirt It was just perfect weather. out there, even with the clouds even. We didn't even have the sun today, yeah. and it still felt so amazing out there. Spring-like temperatures, highs were in the 60s and 70s, and we had a pretty nice sunrise. Just started to fade a couple of minutes ago, but it was very vibrant just about 10 or 15 minutes ago. Here's looking west from St. Albans toward Whiteface Mountain at this hour. Very mild, 61 degrees under calm winds. That's the one thing you notice about today, much lighter winds. And look at those highs, 71 in Messina, 68 in uh, Burlington, in Montpelier. Notice those cooler highs off to the south. 61 in Springfield, only 56 today in Brattleboro. That's because we've all got that coastal storm that's bringing some showers to southern Vermont. Notice those cooler temperatures, 54 in Lebanon in Springfield right now, down to 52 in Brattleboro, still in the 60s for most of northern New York and northern Vermont. But you can see the cloud deck hanging tough here and starting to stream up from the south are those showers coming into the lower Connecticut River Valley as we speak. It's all part of this warm front associated with this low pressure system off to our south. We've got a high pressure out to the east over the Atlantic, so a little bit of squeeze play in between these two just sending up a surge of tropical moisture right from the Caribbean. So that's why our temperatures are so mild. You see a lot of 70s, even some 80s off to the west, but cooler temperatures along the New England coast, only in the 50s right now as that rain continues to move up. So we do have scattered showers in the forecast for tomorrow, but it's mainly south and east of Lake Champlain. I think most of New York will remain dry. It stays warm as well through midweek before a cold front comes through Thursday uh, and not going to spawn to back to normal temperatures. So. Future cast overnight shows the clouds hanging tough and you notice some of those scattered showers, <clears throat> excuse me, starting to make their way up into the Champlain Valley by tomorrow morning. So it could be a bit of a wet morning commute with scattered showers in some locations tomorrow. Notice though, as we go through tomorrow afternoon, there's a bit of a drying trend from the west, kind of drying air to the west, eating up uh, the effects of this uh, low pressure system. So I think the clouds hang tough over most of Vermont tomorrow, but we could see breaks of sun over northern New York and even into Tuesday. It still looks like kind of a dreary day, especially east of the Green Mountains. I think we do see breaks of sunshine in the northern Champlain Valley, northern New York region by later Tuesday. And that's when we really get the mild air in here. It's this deep southerly flow keeping us mild all the way through Wednesday, even into part of Thursday. We do keep the clouds south and east, but the sunshine north and west. So temperature outlook into the first week in November, very mild. In fact, highly likely that will be above average even through Halloween. So certainly above average overnight tonight as we fall back into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees right in downtown uh, Burlington. It will be overcast. That'll keep temperatures from falling off too much and we will get those showers back in the forecast. As far as tomorrow goes, we are expecting those scattered showers, maybe a few breaks of sun in the northern Champlain Valley. But again, east of the Green Mountains, I think it's overcast, dreary. Still mild, though, with temperatures in the 60s. Notice the warmer readings as you head toward western New York, especially St. Lawrence and Franklin counties, mid to upper 60s there. That's where we could see those breaks of sun later tomorrow. So the least amount of rain expected over New York. Most amount of rain to the south. That's why you see those cooler temperatures. Springfield, for example, 59 tomorrow, 57 in Ludlow, 56 in Stratton, with those scattered showers and a bit of a light wind out of the west. Look at those highs Tuesday and Wednesday, 73 on Tuesday. I want to put out a Disclaimer, if you're east of the Green Mountains, you'll probably remain in the overcast skies, so temperatures will probably be in the upper 50s to near 60 for places in the upper valley. But for the Champlain Valley, northern New York, looking like a couple days of very mild weather before we get that cold front here late Wednesday into Thursday with a few more showers possible. Highs back into the 50s for the end of the week. Liz?